Teddy Kinyanjui is the co-founder of Seedballs Kenya, a reforestation initiative that uses seedball technology. So how does it work? We join Teddy to find out. Mike is the manager, this is who I usually deal with when we come. Um, we source all of the seeds directly from Kenya Forest Research Institute. They're the only body that's actually mandated by government to do tree seed science. So we get very good quality assurance from them and viability testing and so on. So I'm going to be getting a kilo of this particular one. This is a yellow fever tree, Navasha thorn. Um, this is one that grows uh, very well in Athi River. And again, our species choice is always, what are people cutting down for charcoal? So, yeah. Four. My seeds, excellent. So many years ago, yeah, poof. <laughs> Bring all of the seeds to Chardust, where they get made with our proprietary technology that we've invented into seed balls. So I approached Elson from Chardust Limited because I knew they deal with recycled charcoal dust. Um, charcoal dust, I know, is a very good amendment for the soil. High porosity, holds nutrients, holds water, microbes, and bacteria. You air dry them in the sun. And that takes about another day if the weather is good. We have a specially formulated mix of different types of nutritious binders that holds all of the charcoal dust together around the seed. A very, very small seed. The team distributes a single indigenous species of trees across arid and semi-arid areas. What we immediately decided to do was just find out what trees are they cutting down in any given part of Kenya for charcoal. We should be planting more of those ones because no one really is. And so we looked at you know, most of the acacia species. We've selected about 10 to 15 different types that are used for unsustainable charcoal making in different parts of the country. Once the seed balls have been dried, they're taken for various throwing expeditions. My name is Gay Cullen and I live here in the savannah. A whistling uh, thorn acacia is what we've been spreading today and um, the yellow fever tree acacia, we've been spreading those. And the other tree that you see around here is the desert date, the Balanites, there's a quite a few of those in the area. So that's the seeds that we've been using today. Having been a, a pilot for over 43 years and flown all over Africa, um, you see that this area, the trees are just being denuded everywhere. Um, I think seed boiling is definitely the way to go. And the more we can do it from the air and learn how to do it from the air, we can spread it wider. And to engage the young generation, Teddy devised interesting ways to involve them in seed balling. As a kid growing up myself, I always had slingshots and loved playing with them. And so given the shape and size of a seed ball, it became you know, immediately obvious this is perfect ammunition to replace stones. So rather than kids shooting stones, they should be shooting seeds and stuff. Since 2016, over six million seed balls have been thrown into the ground. At the 2019 One Planet Summit in Nairobi, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta pledged to raise the country's forest cover over the next three years. I am pledging that by 2022, we want to reach a minimum of 10% forest cover in our country. Presently, the country's forest cover stands at 7.5%. But with methods such as seed ball technology able to cover vast tracts of land in a short time, Kenya's goal may be achieved sooner rather than later.